nigga poppin' with a pocket full of cottage. Yeah. Whoa, chemo, stop it, chop up, aim it, get your back it. What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today I'm going to be telling you guys about the best units to pick for the voting poll. Now I know some people have their own opinions, some people are going to just pick whatever they want to pick, and that's fine, that's fine, but if you don't know who to pick, these are the people you should pick, and I'm going to tell you why. So um, you get to um, th pretty much the top, well the one regular character and then two top seasonal characters characters will return with enhanced stats um so yeah let's go ahead and get into it so first off we have obito naruto sasuke itachi kakashi shikamaru sakura obito gara mike guy and toby rama now as far as the regular characters this is a little um less like specific like honestly if you wanted to pick like if you want to pick obito I, I i see why you know obito did just come out and he's really good and it would just make him even better um but honestly the only two choices you would pick is obito and toby rama now i'm gonna pick toby rama for the simple fact this obito did just like he literally just came out there's really no reason to buff him whenever we could get toby rama buffed and toby rama actually Might make an appearance back on PvP. Now, I know PvP is going to end soon, but hell, he might be good in the new game mode. I don't know. Um, I didn't summon for that Obito. And I feel like since he's new, it's just like since he's new, I feel like he doesn't need it as much. Not to mention, a lot of people didn't summon for him. So, on top of that, and then Toby Rama is an older unit. I Almost everybody I know that plays the game has him. It'd be a really good investment to uh, add him to uh the team as far as pvp now if you're not looking at it from a pvp aspect um i mean a, a multi multiple units could get it biju mode naruto edo tensei itachi um i don't think you should give it to sasuke i mean he's nothing but damage so it's he has no utility really so but biju mode naruto sasuke i mean i mean sasuke itachi biju mode naruto itachi um i wouldn't give it to him because we're getting a lot of wisdom love and he's not gonna fit in the team uh he's used for nothing but boost um but yeah i mean probably one of these two if not those two then obito or toby rama i'm just going to go with toby rama now for the seasonal characters right you got the sakura um the hinata you have the um valentine characters you have the um, swimsuit characters uh christmas characters forgot what that was like the may april character things then we got these two and then we have madara and haishirama who came out recently as well now um before we get into that i just want to go ahead and let you guys know with toby rama what caused me to think um well Want him to get a limit break, a limit break, upgrade, whatever you'll call it. He, all right, so like, he's just a really good unit overall, right? 30 cost, mid range, 2200 HP, uh, 1700 attack. And it's like, yeah, his attack's low, but that his attack isn't the reason why he's good, right? That's that's not all it is. So even if you go to his PvP stats, 40,000 HP, 2300 attack, 305 speed, 335 with pills. Now, Field and Buddy, reduce damage, and then crit rate. The crits, whatever, but reduce damage is really good. Sync with bra Bravery, uh, boost attack. Sync with Hidden Leaf, wisdom reduction. His, uh, his abilities are actually what make him really good. Boost attack by 100, reduce chakra, so now he's 5 chakra. Reduce wisdom damage. Boost Ninjutsu Secret Technique Multiplier, boost attack. So now his attack stat goes from 1700 to 1900 as a mid range unit, which is also the same attack stat as Six Path Naruto before Lemon Break. Um, add that on to his PvP. Now he has like what, 2600 uh, attack stat. Um, and then like his first Jutsu gets perfect dodge. There's pretty good damage. His ultimate, uh, we don't really speak of that. But I don't know. I just think he'd be a really good choice. I mean, honestly, you don't have to pick him. Um, and it's not so much that I'm picking him because he's the best choice. 
all the other choices are just not that great but like i said that's why i told you this one's not as clear cut you can pick up multiple of units but anyways when you get down to here there are certain units that stand out above the rest right this it's just how it is right i, I don't make the rules bro i just I follow the rules so hashirama 100 percent. if you are not voting for hashirama you are trolling he is the best under 28 unit in the game Sage Mode Naruto users, step aside, okay? Um, 1,300 attack stat, vast range. Um, 1,800 HP stat, right? Reduced chance of switch function, which that's PvP. Reduced chance of switch, which that's PvP also, but that's fine. Reduced Jutsu ceiling, that's kind of PvP. Boost attack, sync with bravery. Nullifies chakra recoveries, that's kind of PvP too, but we're not here for that. We're not here for that. 250 healing. Reduce damage by 20%, 250 healing. Increase damage to wisdom by 25%, 250 healing. This man heals for 750 a turn. Damage reduction to all types. Increase damage to wisdom by 25%, 4 8 chakra, 7.1 times attack to all enemies in range. Knocks them back, gives you 30% damage reduction for two turns. Ultimate is a 25. 0.5 times multiplier to one enemy in range 55% chance of mobilization for three turns restores on chakra by 10% of the damage dealt this Hashirama is actually retarded he's really good this is a hundred percent who y'all need to be going for now the second person I know a lot of people are going to be picking a whole bunch of different stuff right um a lot of people are going to be picking Madara, even though he's not that good. Some people are going to be picking this Conan because she's actually really busted when you uh, put her with another skill damage reduction user. She's actually stupid. Uh, some people are going to be going for um, Sakura, Hinata. Some people are going to be going for Ren. Ren is actually the best under 28 healer, I believe. Um, some people are going to be going for Kushina, Kadin, uh, the random ones right people are going to be going over uh, just units all over the place but i'm telling you i'm telling you you guys need to be going for kadi up if you scroll up it says we get two seasonal characters now it's a given right it, it's pretty much a given hashirama is coming back right best under 28 unit in the game he's he's coming back but kadi people are sleeping on kadi if you guys haven't been sleeping under a rock, right? Um, Body has amazing healers. Wisdom hat just got like three or four stupid healers. Not to mention Samurai Sakura did get buffed for the Wisdom group. Bravery has been on top since the game started. And then Heart has, you know, not amazing healers, but a lot of great healers, right? Between Kaguya, Final Valley Naruto... Uh, Heart, Tsunade, Madara Hills. Which they just got a lot of different units that can heal, right? Um, and, and, and Heart's just really stacked. But with skill, we don't have pretty much any healers, bro. Kadeen being one of the only really good healers, right? I know we have Shippuden Sakura, right? I know we have uh, Blazing Fest Tsunade, which I have both of them on my team, but neither of them compare to how good Kadin is. Because Kadin has self healing, which neither of those two have. So sh they're not going to be healing every turn like she is. Now, we do have a couple of units. Naruto the Last has buddy healing. Um, Kabuto has self healing. There's a couple of units with those, but a heal if you get a healer with self healing, it's, it's way better, right? So um, we're not going to talk about our attack stat and all that because that's not what we're here for. But her field skill, um, she gets healing. Her abilities, 200 healing a turn, right? Um, then her jutsu, right? Restores 3,400 HP of own health. And what that means is she can heal herself. She doesn't have to go to anybody to heal. That's what makes her so good. She can heal herself. Now, if you guys remember, right? Uh, let's go ahead and search up if you guys If y'all guys remember Sakura's boost 
that she got was insane, right? Where's that wisdom? Sakura's boost that she got is insane. Um, I don't know if it shows the boost. Does it not? Restores 3,500 and cures them a slip. 300, 300, 300. I'm, I, okay, this might be the boost. Yeah, so 900 a turn on healing. She heals. She Yeah, I think she used to heal. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure. But anyways, I, I don't think they're showing her boost. But long story short, Sakura heals way more now. And with Kadin, she'd be healing a lot more too. Because if you think about it, they came out at the same time. Yeah, that's... So it's like 100, 200 a turn, 900 a turn. Yeah, this is definitely her boost. Yeah. So it's like, um, if Kiting gets the boost, skill units are going to have a way better time. You know what I'm saying? During missions and events and stuff. So, um, yeah, my personal opinion, Hashirama first, Kiting second. And then with this one, it kind of doesn't matter as much. You can choose whoever. But, uh, yeah, so I'm, that's going to be about it for this video. Uh, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, comment down below, tell me what you guys think, comment section below, that being said, I'll see you guys next time, peace.